What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel guys in today's video We got back to the dyno on the 120 pulley on 93 So we're gonna shoot to that but stick around for the end of the video. We're gonna talk a little bit about something Alright guys, so here is my 125 pulley. This was done back in April and then we're in June now. So 636 versus 647. Keep in mind guys, this is pump gas. Uh, I could have threw some octanium in that and got that around 680, what we normally see out of these things. But honestly, I mean, it, it, give gas. or take, it's, it's pump gas out of a shell. I would like to see it do better, but it is what it is. No matter what this reads, what I ran the other night at the drag strip, it's not gonna change. But one thing you'll see, guys, is the blue is current. Look, throughout the whole run, the red is the 125, the blue is the 120. You can see that it's making more power all the way through the power range. I kind of wanted to overlay that for you guys so you could actually see, because everybody pays attention to peak numbers and they don't actually sit there and, and pay attention to the overall. So if you look right there, we're at 430 here and 444 here. We're at 574 and 592. That's the difference right there at 6,500 RPM. Yep. If you look right here, yeah. look at this right here, right? Yep. Big this big. is at 7,500 RPM. I do my shifts right about here, right? Yes. Look at the 120 pulley, 125 pulley, and look at the 120 pulley. Right. Right. We're going to go there and we're going to look at it. Guys, huge shout out to Renegade Racing here in Clarksville. If you need anything put on the dyno, come here, get with them. They, they are just awesome guys to deal with so there right there there's there's 30 horsepower more right there right and then 30. so after the after that we're carrying 30 more horsepower through so i mean you can see the you can see the power difference right here between the two as you go up it's not just a peak number game it because that's the peak number is you live at that peak number for a very split second. It's that whole power band is what you gotta look at when you compare, start comparing pulleys. Yep. Listen, at the end of the day, you're still a stock manifold. Oh, Most that car is completely gas. stock. Yep. I mean, this so, is the ESS kit with a completely stock. No booster in the at, tank. This yeah. is what you're gonna get when you go to Shell. Shell 93. Oh. I mean, you could honestly probably go get better. I mean, I have literally, in the past, my whipple car, for example. Yeah. I have pulled two degrees of timing on one gas station and added a degree of timing at another gas station. Yeah. It, it, it just the way, and it makes a difference. So a lot of guys are going to run E85 and you will yeah. too eventually? Yeah. Hold well, we're, 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 when, we, when, when we come back here, yeah. we're going to be on E85. We're, we're going to see what it does there. And that's where I, where I want to see. So I went back and pulled up my stock 382 horsepower. The difference between this right here 
and these two is an ESS kit 125 120 and then stock and everything else in the car is stock besides the ESS kit and the injectors in the back I still got stock headers stock cats stock everything so basically this is what you would expect to see some people say they don't it doesn't make power below this I mean you just go and look at the the difference all around right there I mean right there all around it's making a huge difference right there all right guys so we put down 647 horsepower on the dyno uh stock headers stock everything and uh so before anybody in the comments says anything uh no we were not down on boost the log looked perfect the log looked like every other log that i've done as far as math flow load everything else compared to other 120 pulley cars that we've had on the dyno that have put down higher numbers um but this is on this dyno guys i thought that the 125 pulley was kind of low we did 615 615 and then uh we was tweaking on the tune a little bit and it finally it did 636 and then you know we went to the 120 pulley and we did 647 i expected a little more especially as healthy as the log looked um, and we actually ran 133 in the quarter in 2700 da in a full weight s550 now i can tell you from my previous cars they had done that they've all been between 680 and 690 horsepower so basically what you guys what i'm trying to get at is this is a prime example of why i tell people don't harp on dyno numbers take it to the drag strip and run it at the drag strip and see what it does at the drag strip uh, i'm showing you each pulley and usually that's something i don't do on a dyno you typically once the tune's dialed in if i if i change boost i just show you the difference of the drag strip i don't really go back to the dyno however i'm kind of wanting to compare each pulley and like i did in the video i'm wanting to kind of show not only peak numbers i'm wanting to show the mid-range how much horsepower you pick up where you pick up to kind of show you guys exactly um what it does now when we get on e85 on the dyno we're not gonna have to worry about if the 93 is happy if the 93 is not happy we're not gonna have to worry about that at all that goes away and that's what i love the most about being on e85 and if you stuck around this long in the video just a heads up the car is now on e85 you'll see in the next video we'll talk about that uh but it's on e85 so now we're ready to have some fun um i know that was one of the things in my last video i talked about we were going to go e85 in a converter but i've had a couple people comment and ask me would i take it just a little further without a converter because they're not interested in putting a converter in their car i'm going to run the stock converter just for a little while longer not much longer because even though we're going to pull it down which means we're going to get it in the boost faster because the smaller the pulley the more boost you're gonna make down low so you're gonna get in the you're gonna get in the boost faster as you pull it down and even though that's gonna pick up a 60 it's not gonna be comparable to what it can actually do with a converter so we're gonna have to get on a converter very soon because not only do i want to run at a track and show you guys what it does i actually want to compete i want to race against other cars and i don't want to have to be chasing people down uh i'd rather be uh 60 foot and, and going you know that's what i'd rather do but I, you know, for you guys that are not gonna do a converter, I will run it just a little while longer to kind of show you guys exactly what it'll do. Then we're gonna go switch to a converter and go from there. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, stay tuned for some E85 content. Now we're about to start having some fun, guys.